was hoping that I'd catch you here. Um, your stuff's upstairs if that's what you're here for. No, that's not why I'm here. Well, I started putting it into piles for you just to make it easier. All right, well, that would make it a lot easier. So I guess you better go up and start packing, right? You so. I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. Please, look at me. Hey, look at me. Please. I, mean, I don't accept that this is over. I don't. You have to accept that it's over because no. it is. Look. No. I understand how you feel about what happened with the guy who killed my mother, but that's no reason to end our marriage. It already no reason. ended it. So. It... I want your copy of keys to this house, please. Ridiculous. Hey, stop it. I love you. You know, so we are so close now to having what we have always wanted. I know you love me still, and if that is not a reason to fight for our marriage, then I don't know what the hell it is. I love you. I will always love you. Then why are you telling me to leave? Because our problems are still the same. They haven't changed. No, they're, not. they're not. We can get through these problems. How can I get past this? How? We can't I mean, get through it. You caused a man to be killed. I told you. I did not have a choice. We would have been next. Honey, with my mother's killer out of the way, I'm out of that life for good. You know, I just have heard you say it a thousand times, and... You always end up right back. Well, I mean it. it. I know I mean you mean it. it. I know you do, and I'm sure that you believe that you'll be able to get out of it. No, I am out. You're not out of yes, it, Danny. Yes, I Danny. am. This is who you are. You're Danny Santos, Carmen's son, born and raised no, on your family's My mother island. is gone, and with me gone, there is no Santos family. I don't not... believe you. Look at me. It's just me. I'm just me. I'm just... I'm Danny. I'm your husband. I love you so much. I know, but you are also the man who caused another man to be killed. Danny, I can't live with that. I can't. I won't. I won't. Well, yeah, if, if my mother's killer walked through that door right now and pointed a gun at your head, or at me, and I killed him to protect us, could you live with that? Yeah, but that's not what happened. It's what would have happened, How Michelle. How do you know that? I... Why won't you let me explain because this Because you've you? explained it a million times, and it doesn't matter how you say it or rearrange the words, it still comes out the same. Please, please, save me the pain. Okay? Please, just get out of my life. When you met me, I was running, trying to get away from my family, and trying to get away from who they wanted me to be. You've been running in circles? No, not anymore. My mother is gone. There's nothing to run from anymore. We're free. I'm not free because I know what you did to get us here. I, I had to. We would have been next. Me, you, my grandmother, Pilar. I wasn't I going to let that, that happen. You're hiding behind that. You did this out of revenge. And you were begging me, begging me for weeks to let go of my mother's murder. Not That's what this I did. Way. That's this was the only way, Michelle. And now there's nothing in our way. We can build our house. We can have a family. We can Dad, do all of that. How can you think of bringing children into this? It's over. Because it's over. It's not over. Oh, my God. I don't know how I can tell you this. It's, it's something that has already happened. You can't go back and change it. And what you're asking me to do is to put aside everything that I am, everything that I stand for, and accept a life that was built and secured on violence. I can't do that. I love you more than I had loved anyone in my entire life. But I would rather lose you than lose myself. Please be gone when I come back.
Maria, it's over. Michelle has left Danny. The marriage is finally over. I believe it is. Well, Michelle wasn't exactly in the mood for sharing details, so would you please indulge me? What on earth did you do? I just followed the plan. I made Danny believe he'd found his mother's killer, and he took care of the rest. Well, I wish you had told me that all systems were a go, because I had no idea what you were doing. We agreed um, on an overall plan. I didn't have to consult you further. Well, who does Danny think killed Carmen? I hired someone to take the blame. Don't tell me Danny had him killed. No, he only thinks he did. Our four guys spending my money on a Caribbean island where Danny will never find him. And you sure he's never coming back? Not if he knows what's good for him. Well, I suppose mission's been accomplished then. <laughs> <laughs> we are both in the clear for Carmen's murder and Michelle is free of Danny. Well, <laughs> don't count on that just yet. But Michelle, tell me they split up. Young girls, young girls end up changing their minds. Not this time. Well, uh, we'll see. So, your daughter shared with you the bad news. You must feel very good. I do. I've made some mistakes with Michelle and her brother. But I think I've survived, for the most part. She needs her mother. I know she does. She's just had a lot of people warning her away. But with Abigail and Danny out of the picture, I, I really believe things are going to work out for us after all these years. Well, good luck. I know how much it means to you. It means everything. And now our business together is finished. I know I don't have to remind you that no one must ever know of our business. What do you think you're dealing with? But how about you being discreet? I'm not going to say a word. I'm in the clear of Carmen's murder, and I finally have a shot at a relationship with my daughter. I certainly am not going to rock the boat. <laughs>